Hi Prep B, hi Prep W, welcome to another read aloud with Mr Broadbent. I thought I'd get a Scaredy Monster out again because I enjoyed it so much last week and I'm hopefully you guys did as well. This one is called Scaredy Monster Rides a Bike. I know a lot of you guys ride bikes, so I'm thinking if we have a bit of a prediction about what's going to happen, hmm, I've got a few ideas. I wonder if you've got a couple of ideas about what's going to happen in this book. Okay, so have a bit of a think. And let's see, as we go, I'm pretty sure our knowledge about what's going to happen is going to build, and we'll see how we go here. Rightio, let's get into it. I'm looking forward to reading this one. Scaredy Monster Rides a Bike. One sunny afternoon, Scaredy Monster goes out to play. He gets on his tricycle. His tricycle is old, it is too small, it creaks and moans. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. Scaredy Monster pedals down the block. Creak, moan, creak, moan. Scaredy Monster sees a yard sale. His eyes glow wide. His heart beats fast. Creak! Scaredy Monster stops his tricycle. What do you think he's going to see? I think I can see it. Scaredy Monster walks over to a bike. It is red. It is shiny. It is just the right size. It is perfect. Scaredy Monster has a plan. He hurries home. Mm, I wonder what his plan is. He goes to his bedroom. He dumps out his piggy bank. Clink, clink, clink. Scaredy Monster runs back to the yard sale. He buys the shiny red bike. He's, he wheels it home. That night, Scaredy Monster had a dream. He dreams he is the fastest, the bravest, the best biking monster in the world. Gosh, what a great dream. The next morning, Scaredy Monster cannot wait to ride his new bike. Mummy Monster asked if he wants bike lessons. Scaredy Monster says no. I can learn to ride all by myself. Scaredy Monster puts on his helmet. He hops onto his bike. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be a problem coming. I wonder if you think you know what it might be. Scaredy Monster starts to move too fast. He tries to put his feet down too high. He cannot touch the ground. Scaredy Monster does not know how to stop. Scaredy Monster wobbles. He tips. He falls. Ah! Scaredy Monster is hurt. Scaredy Monster is scared. Scaredy Monster does not want to ride his bike anymore. Oh no, he's grazed the knee. Mummy Monster helps Scaredy Monster get up. They head home. Mummy Monster cleans and bandages Scaredy Monster's cut. She wipes his tears. Mummy Monster hugs Scaredy Monster. She tells him that trying new things like riding a bike can be scary, but with a little practice, riding a bike can be really fun. Mummy Monster and Scaredy Monster go back outside. Mummy Monster picks up the shiny red bike. She lowers the seat. Scaredy Monster gets on his bike. Now he can touch the ground. Mummy Monster shows Scaredy Monster how to push off. She shows him how to balance and how to steer. The bike wobbles. Scaredy Monster puts his feet down to stop. He is safe. Oh, so Mummy Monster's really helping him here, which is fantastic. Just like I'm sure your parents help you to do some, maybe ride a bike or some other things. And just like how Miss Welton and I also help you at school to try new things and give things a go and help you along the way. Scaredy Monster tries again and again and again. Push off, balance, steer. Mummy Monster helps. Now comes the next part. Mummy Monster shows Scaredy Monster how to pedal. 
I wonder if he's going to be able to do it. Let's find out. Scanny Monster takes a deep breath. He pushes off. He balances. He steers. He pedals. Mummy Monster lets go of the seat. And... Oh gosh, I'm worried. Hope he stays on. Scanny Monster is riding a bike. Woohoo! Scaredy Monster is glad he kept practicing. Mummy Monster was right. Scaredy Monster loves riding his bike. Whee! And that is the end of our book today. It just shows that persisting and being resilient and keep having a go until you get it is just really, really, really important. Okay, just like what Miss Walton and I tell you every day at school. If you can't do something, it's okay. But if you keep persisting and having a go and keep practicing, you'll be able to get there eventually. And that book just shows us exactly that. So hopefully you enjoyed Scaredy Monster Rides a Bike. And I cannot wait to read you our next read aloud very, very soon. See you later, Prep B and Prep W.